Hey everyone, Sean here, and today in this video, I, you know, I just thought I'd put my, uh, my two cents in this whole thing amidst the thing still going on, I think, but, um, at this point, I decided to, you know, make this video because there's just things that I do want to say, um, you know, while a number of it might not be unique, but... You know, it could say you could say that it is unanimous amongst all the other opinions and stuff like that for not only Genshin and stuff like that, but just things around it. You know, I never really thought I would see something so much on fire to the point where it just escalated to this point. <clears throat> There's just more and more stuff coming out. Um, don't know if I'll be specific about it, but I just. I definitely want to touch upon it at least to some extent, but um, I guess we can start where it all kind of began uh, from my perspective anyway, which is um, the Dr. Ratio stuff. This Dr. Ratio thing, um, he was given out for free, which is this five-star unit who is pretty damn good for a free five-star unit. Um, one of the best um, single target units in the, in the game of Honkai Star Rail, um, especially being imaginary, which is, um, I, I feel like, that element is one of the least distributed um for right now and um i feel like you know that definitely ignited something got some fire under people's um, booty holes and <laughs> um um went on this tirade about like just this whole copium thing just like oh well um they're doing this because the game is struggling, or, or Star Wars is struggling, and with the player counts and stuff like that. I've, I've seen, actually, some of that directly in my video. Um, I've seen two sides of it, right? Where people mentioned that, like, oh, the game is struggling. And then, um, of course, the other comment was like, you know, holy crap, this is some, some copium uh, stuff. And so that happened, and then... Um, of course, the anniversary came around, and um, it's the usual stuff, you know. You don't really get much out of it other than like some skins and maybe a ten wish, uh, ten free wishes, and then um, it's just, it, it's it's um, if you look at it from just playing Genshin, this might be okay. But having to play a number of gotcha RPGs like myself, this is like nothing, you know. This, all those rewards is like kind of, kind of nothing. It's like a, it's like a, like a little, it's like a little piece of, like a piece of cake or something. After, you know, having to be this like loyal customer for, um, for three years now, right? You know, imagine going to the store for a long time. Someone put it this analogy, simply put, but well well said. Um, I think it was I went to lose gaming. But anyway, imagine, you know, going and being this, like, loyal customer for the store for years, right? Years and years and years. And then they are, are just like, you know, as a thank you, we're going to give you this, uh, this, this, this coupon that's only, like, 3% off or something, you know? It's like, um okay you know uh especially with the three wishes thing man that 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 uh whole thing was just like wow you know <laughs> apparently they did apologize for a quote unquote and they're they promised to make things better uh with their communication so who knows what that means really i don't know but um that definitely brought out something after that you know, the whole thing with Tectone, once again, and um, other such content creators, you know. Um, that one started with, um, from what I've seen with Zyox, uh, with that tweet saying, you know, the duality of man or whatever. And then you have the, pic the one picture of one, or thumbnail of one content creator, and then you have the other content creator, you know, Tectone. Being all just like grumpy and whatever, soured about it, very pessimistic. Whereas, um, I believe the other picture or thumbnail was uh, featuring Doro, who's like this very optimistic uh, content creator in comparison. 
you know, so yeah, you have this duality of man kind of thing. Um, that one, I don't know, like, is it, is that Zyox's fault for doing that? Like, I, I think that was just a shit post, but I, it, the problem, see, the problem I feel like with this whole thing also is not just the content creators, but it's just the people in it, man. People just take things way, way too far. You know, you're talking about a community that got mad at this artist for drawing Ayaka for uh, Ayaka being uh, too young or whatever. She apparently this artist drew Ayaka too young in their eyes, and they just went at it for this, at it against this artist, and the artist just did not take it very well. And it's not, it, it wasn't even that bad of an art, of course. That, that was just. It was just like any other, you know, great looking art I've seen on Twitter slash X or whatever, man. This is the, this is the kind of people you're dealing with, you know what I mean? And of course, with the death threats and nasty comments on the number of voice actors and actresses that have been involved involved with the game. Uh, with one exception, of course, with uh, Tainari's voice actor. He He's long gone and um actually a criminal so that's the exception but there are a number of voice actors and actresses just been getting these like these like nasty comments just because such and such you know they didn't like what what they were hearing or seeing or something um you know it's just they just don't know where to direct their anger at you know and i felt like the voice actors were the most accessible to them at the time. So instead of actually like, you know, directing their anger towards like, you know, the game devs and stuff like that, because you don't get any response from them. So of course, if you do that towards the voice actors and whoever, you know, obviously there's some, maybe some sort of specific reason why they went uh, after these voice actors, but um, it's been, a, it's been a while. So, but I know that it has happened and it's, it's just terrible, you know, um, overall with some exceptions, of course, um, the point being though, this is, this is the kind of people you're dealing with in a community like this. Um, so I feel like it definitely is more than just, um, you know, these problems. It, it's just a bunch of problems that accumulate to this whole thing and why we're here in the first place, I guess. Well, when I say we, it's like just that pocket of the community. I, 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 um, I like to believe, for the most part, most people are just casually enjoying Genshin as it is. Exploring the world. Trying to get new characters. Trying to build these new characters. You know, all that stuff. But meanwhile, you got this big handful of these people, man. That just take things way, way too personally, man. You know, again, another sort of uh, example I can give is the tier list video that I get um, put out uh, recently, or most recently. I put out another a number of these tier lists a number of times, and this was the most volatile. This is the most volatile I've seen for some reason. And now, like all of a sudden, these people there there are these people that are just like, oh, this is the worst tier list I've seen, you know, and uh, all like if um, there's this one that I've mentioned in my streams right where uh they're just like oh my well my advice for to you is to take out the bottom tier since you seemingly don't even uh you know don't don't, don't even rate these characters at that point so what's the point and then if you can't take the criticism then don't start you know, shut the fuck up man like like who, who the fuck you think you are to say stuff like that man don't throw that kind of insult towards me like I like I literally ask for comments for you know for for the tier list right like you know what do you think what do you guys think of it right like that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for feedback I'm looking for comments to see and um I only respond to the ones that actually gave their criticisms right that's not you know that per that person that they didn't, they didn't, they didn't do what they think they're doing right like oh if you can't take criticism that's that sounds like projection to me, you know. That seems a lot of those a lot of those kind of comments like that are just projection at, at best. Um, it sound it really does sound like they they're the ones who can't take criticism, and yet you know I'm the one who made the video, 
<laughs> and ask for the comments. So it's like, wh who are you to say stuff like that and p try to pass it off as crit uh, criticism? That's not a criticism. That's just insulting a person, man. But, so anyway, so that's the kind of people you're dealing with. If you ever say something that they disagree with, that's the that's the big takeaway from it. You know, um, a lot of it too with this drama is a bunch of like you know uh, misunderstanding and just running with the narrative kind of thing. It's like if you say one thing, you're just gonna just take this take that to the extreme and run with it you know um i com uh, in my head i compare the the what do you call it? the sort of pancake and waffle analogy where you know if you say oh i love pancakes well you didn't mention waffles so you know what you love pancakes so you hate waffles you know that's that's the that's the kind of like um sh meme that you see on twitter but it's based off of something true it, it's it's it happens across the internet, you know, um, whether it's just for anything, really. Anything that you like, there, you know, like, you can take anything, like uh, dogs and cats. Oh, I love dogs. Wait, wait a minute, you love, you hate cats then? You know, that kind of thing. You know, it's, it's that extreme that people react with, and they just roll with it. Like, I just don't understand that, man. I just don't really understand that mentality. But um, the game is so big that, it's bound to gather these bunch of people into this one place and and they just comment on whether you know on anything that disagrees with them you know what i mean and even you know taking it further with the tier list stuff uh, like i love th th these comments are just like you know um well, you know, this is this, this is bad or yikes or some whatever, right? But they never talk about like uh, their own tier list. They never they don't want to they don't want to give out their uh, thoughts about it. It's like as if they're afraid to you know have their comments be berated by other people of that similar mindset as well. You know, that's just my that's just how I perceive it anyway. You know, and I'm and, and I, here I am. I'm the one who's asking for comments, man. Like if you if you if you're gonna, you know, tell this is tell me that this is a bad tier list. Tell me why is a bad tier list. That's what I'm asking for, man. You know, like if you if you're gonna if, if you're gonna sit there and comment like that, you you should. I think you should get, give out your reasons. What's your perspective on it? You know, who do you think is in this tier or that tier or whatever? But they're not willing to put the thought into it. They're just kind of just like they're they're kind of just drones in in that case. You know what I mean? You know, it all it all you know kind of goes with that comment I mentioned. You know, just like oh well, if you can't take criticism, then then don't start it. <sighs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. All right. <laughs> anyway, so that's the kind of people you're dealing with when it comes to unfortunately Genshin. So. There's just a lot of these extremes happening, and um, especially in like Tectone side of things, man. Like, um, he's he's also kind of like a similar person. He just uh, he has his points, but I feel like he's the kind of guy that will go so far just to be right, and um, I feel like. Uh, I believe this is what Mtash put it best is that, you know, some, even if sometimes, even if you are right, is it worth it? You know, is it worth it, worth being right? And that, 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 that actually like, you know, um, kind of hit me for a little bit. Cause like, uh, there are times where, yeah, like, you know, depending on how you approach it to like, um, if you go so far, right? If you say all these things, all this stuff, the way you, the way they do, they do, it's like, um, it could hurt people, man. It could hurt like how people, the people around you see you or, you know, they, uh, or vibe with you and stuff like that. It's hard to explain, but kind of, but, um, there are things where friends, um can call you out on um if they don't like it and that's okay right like friends are there to uh call out on each other and make sure that they're you know they 
fix it and, and better themselves for the future or for tomorrow and stuff like that. Not not to say that, you know, MTash and Tectone have any problems with each other, but, um, you know, just saying that the, if you have a friend where you feel like they're doing something that you think could harm them in the long run of things, you know, there's no harm of just mentioning it at least and tell them like, hey, like, you gotta be careful for this stuff, you know? Um, that's okay. That's, you know, it's so it's very much okay to criticize each other. That's what friends are there for. They, you want to better, better each other. So therefore stuff like that. Um, as long as you are constructive about it, obviously, you know, um, yeah, you know, that's another thing, right? Like stuff, uh, there are things that Tectone says, but then people just take it to the extreme and run with it when he definitely meant for, uh, something else, you know? It, 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 like, especially the whole, like, um, what do you call it? Like, oh, um, you know, if you enjoy the game, fine, but if you, if, you know, but you're, if you, uh, uh, what do you call it? If you're, if you don't, but try to pretend that you're a shill or whatever, that kind of thing, and, and uh, people took it as like, uh, oh, so all the content creators are fake or whatever, or, you know, something like that. It's like, no, it's like, it's only for the content creators that actually do that stuff. You know, it's just, it's, it definitely does. If I was in his shoes, I, I'd definitely be annoyed by that. It's like, no, you know, that's not what I meant. Kind of thing. A, a lot of he said, she said stuff, including the whole Atsu thing. And um, definitely like stuff left and right. It's just a bunch of shit going on, you know. A lot is on fire, and so um, this whole thing was all. I feel like it's all things to Hoyo, right? Like just be definitely because of the three wishes thing, you know. And then of course with China players, uh, ch players in China, on um, following the the social media stuff for for Genshin and that whole thing. I felt like definitely was a do domino effect. Um, igniting a lot of these, you know, a lot, a lot of the gasoline, and and then you have the big pockets of gasoline just exploding, and that's of course the whole content creator stuff. Ha, huh, man. So, um, now personally for me, um, I have my own criticisms for the game, but I still play it, and that's the thing, right? It's like it's okay for users to still like the game. Um, and you can still have criticism about it because you, it's okay to just continue trying to better the game. And, you know, if there is, if there is, um, stuff to change, then yes, you know, point that out and try to, um, try and see if you can better the game for your experiences. You know, of course, I would love to try to take it, um, to the next level kind of thing. Um, and there are definitely things Genshin definitely needs to improve upon, like the storytelling, for example. My gosh, like the, um, oh, there's so much filler dialogue. It's just it, 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 there are there are times where I'm like put but being put to sleep. Um, <laughs> some of you, if you have a sharp eye, may ca catch that, right? You know, in my streams. And there are times I play those games without my face cam for a reason. It's because I know that the, this kind of storytelling is put is going to put me to sleep, especially for the ones that don't have the voice dialogue. That makes it all the more worse. Um, stuff like that definitely needs to be improved upon. And there's just so much other like stuff that um, it's like they attempted, but it's, this isn't what exactly we're looking for. Like the loadout stuff, you know, um, we're actually, we're asking to be able to save loadouts for each character, but but and yet uh, all they did was add a some just just, just a glorified search engine for your uh, artifacts. That's just pretty much what it is. And then like um, <laughs> uh, the the adventure points thing, it's such a, it's such a weird thing to me, you know it it it. it it definitely overall is counterintuitive, you know, because um, obviously you get points for, you know, finding um, oculi and 
treasure and such other things to help cover your dailies, which is very effective, of course, at the very start of like anything new, like a new region, new sub region, even, or any just, or, or, or like any new area, of course. So you ask yourself, one would ask themselves, like, do I want to further explore this area or do I want to save that for my dailies? So it almost becomes counterintuitive, I feel, for that feature to be there. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a detriment over anything, really. Because what if you um, cover this entire area in, in one day and then now you're just back to the old dailies again? So I feel like they definitely need to work on that stuff too. And um, it, it, it's just so baffling to me because of how much of that stuff is just going into Star Rail. Like all all the quality of life stuff that we're asking for for Genshin, it's just kind of it's just being passed over to to Star Rail. So it just seems like Genshin feels like this like weird middle child that doesn't get anything, this stepchild, even though the, um, Genshin exploded so so much at this up to this point. It's still very popular. A lot of players are still on it. Um, you know, I like the the lore. I love the rich world that it has built up to this point. But there's so much for the, for it to be improved upon for other areas, including the combat end game and all that stuff. Don't get me started on that stuff. But man, you know that's one thing. Um, of course, the other one is just the people. Unfortunately, not just content creators, but just the people themselves of how they react on things. Again. You know, you're dealing with a community that goes after voice actors, that just goes after artists, um, not to mention going after the devs themselves trying to assassinate from what I've heard or just passing death threats to them or whatever it is. It's it's, it's ridiculous, you know. Um, I personally have never seen anything like it for any game that I've been involved myself for any community. You know, of course, there's always some dumb, nasty comments here and there, but I've never seen the, the, this kind of level, you know, for anything, right? It, like, the Genshin, Genshin's community is something else, man. Um, uh, maybe maybe the only other ones that I can think of that could um, match it is maybe League of Legends or something during its prime and stuff like that. Um... <laughs> It's, it's it is something else really but it, it can't be helped because there's it's such a huge gain you know <laughs> you know you know a large part of what you do in the game is just uh you know you pull the slot machine <laughs> you know and don't get me started with the whole anxiety thing man again because that shit is ridiculous you know we don't want to do this anxiety man shut shut the fuck up man you're you're using anxiety as a tool Shut the fuck up. Get that get that shit out of here, man. Don't give me don't give me that weak ass sh you know shit. That's like the most poor that's like the poorest way of trying to gaslight people with that, you know. That is um something else, you know. Anyways, there's a lot more to say about it, but those those are just kind of like the big points I wanted to point out. Um the people are definitely a, a part of the big problem, man. And Hoyo, Hoyoverse just probably sitting there watching the community continue to burn in flames. And meanwhile, they kind of just sit back and be like, eh, we could do these improvements, but why not? Why, why do it? Because the game is so popular. It's so big. It's so successful. Why, why, why do any, do any, you know, why, why go through the trouble? You know why? Why um, you know strain our our fingers? Oh, to, to, to click on the, the to click on those uh, the, those um, commands and whatever to help improve the game. Oh, you know, I, I my finger hurts. Oh, or my oh my brain hurts. Oh, you know, when it's really not that much to do or do to pull it off. It could literally give us like, you know, free 10 summons like 
Star Rail does. You know, they could literally give us a free five star. <laughs> you know, but they, instead they, we get stuff like Aloy and stuff like that. Um, and it's so, you know, it's really strange to think about and remember that the, the only character they buffed was Song Li. Song Li was the only character that they've um, actually went out their way and fixed it. And that's it. That, nothing else came close to it ever since. I don't think anyway. Um, and it's so funny, like, um, there was this notion that Genshin only listens to the Chinese players, but it seems like even Chinese players kind of get the short end of the stick too at this point. I, that's something I'm starting to believe at this point. But, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't, I, 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 I'm trying not to expect anything out of this whole thing. Maybe Hoyoverse will finally wake up to do something with Genshin, but um, seems like they're busy with Star Rail and then Zenless Zone Zero, man. And I heard that game it wasn't is it, isn't cutting out to be, you know, uh, what it's hyped up to be. So, yeah, um, time can can only tell. And this is this is just the beginning of the year, man. I, I'm kind of afraid to see where this goes for the rest of the year. But um, that's it for me. What do you guys think of it? For anyone who is who, uh does play Genshin to an extent and has looked into this stuff, um, please provide your perspective on things. I I'm always looking to see per perspectives and different comments and stuff like that. You know, if you if you do you agree or disagree with any of this stuff, um, leave it down below. Love to check them out. Um, what are your experiences? You know, with this stuff, anything like that related. Um, comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I uh, really do appreciate you guys, really, for your support. And there's also other links in the description um, to potentially help out this channel. So, uh, this has been my, I guess, two cents on this whole Genshin drama stuff, I guess, quote unquote, but just Genshin itself as of late. So, um, that's the, uh, that's it for the Hawk Talks for this edition, anyway. Thank you very much. And hope to see you all in the next one. Sean out.